Hey guys, Jody from Bird Dog Overland. Just wanted to check in with you guys. It's the end of 2022. Uh, as they were going to kind of uh, start this video off, but just letting you guys know we're going to do a quick review of all the stuff that we've done to the Bronco. Uh, you know, our sweet goodbye to the Forerunner uh, and the pickup of the Bronco happened last year, this past year on January 4th. So we're going to talk happen. about the stuff that we've done to it, uh, the pros, the cons, the things that we love, the things that we don't like, pretty much our year in review. So hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. you all know the forerunner community to a community that's a big limitation this is 37s guys this is a sasquatch package so it initially came with 35s so max tire clearance look at that gap we'll go to the other side and show how that's been in but look at that gap that's just a lot of space for a tire to go inward and back here this is pretty much cut all the way you got plenty of gap back there as well you could probably go almost 40s on this of course, you can tell with all the mud from the fender flares being off that, you know, it's on here. But I want to be honest with you, this is one of the things that really set this truck off. Other than the Stealth PPF wrap uh, that we love so much is this graphic here from our friends at Lifestyle Off-Road. Uh, Luke and his team, they make these graphics custom made. He even gave us a little Easter egg here. You know, we did a video on this install of that. Customized with the social media links. Now, I won't be honest with you, these little stripes up here, I know I'll get a lot of flack for people thinking I'm copying Mopar, which I don't care, but anyway, uh, these are just cheap vinyl racing stripes I got off Amazon. They've been on here for several months now, done pretty good. You know, got the zone off-road lift, you know, with the factory coilovers, Brockbuster bushing, Brockbuster steering rack housing, you can't see it right here. Uh, you probably could get up in there, but I'm not going to. And the bushing. So that's some more stuff from Brockbuster, our friends of Brockbuster. Our great working relationship with Last Fit Lighting. You know, uh, we're all Last Fit outfit here. Got Last Fit ditch lights, 42 inch light bar. And also up here, we got them in the bumper too, the fogs. We also got them in the back as well, with the reverse. So. Can't say enough positive things about Last Fit. Great company, economic cost. About all you can ask for. As those of you who've been following me long enough to uh, see me in the Forerunner, you guys know I use a lot of Victory 4x4 products. Well, now uh, we're using their sister company, which is pretty much the same company under a different name, uh, JCR. I know that's kind of been their Jeep side of the market, so we've been using their bumpers. Uh, on the Forerunner, and I'm using the front one here on the Bronco. They had the ADD adapter plate, keeps ADD near a stock location, works great. Uh, winch plate, it was good, nothing wrong with it, had no qualms about it whatsoever. I just want to step up to a regular bumper, and the ADD modulation adapter sold me on it. Front camera adapter works great as well. Uh, can't say enough good things about it as well. And it was on the, the winch plate before the bumpers. So Shackle King, these bronze shackles, trying to match the rims, matte bronze. Of course the rims, fuel off-road, uh, Zephyr 17 by nine with a negative 12 offset. Got those from our friends over at midwesttread.com. I recommend you look them up. Uh, they know their stuff when it comes to wheels. They get you set up right away. That's BFG's rocking. You know, ran BFG's on the Forerunner. Uh, had the 34 inch KM3's on the Forerunner, so we decided to go up to the 37's for the Bronco. Had the KO2's with the Forerunner when we still had 33's on it. Such. Yeah. Like I said, when those cut in all the way, tons of room up there. Probably the biggest con of the Toyotas is the lack of adaptability to bigger steering. We got these rock slide engineering, did a video on those as well, so check that out. Uh, still got the soft top. We'll be getting rid of it soon. Got the Anderson Composites hard top order. Got the ADD bumper here. 
you know, you know, I'll do about a video on it as well, so you'll see it, you know, the only complaint I had of it, what I've been told, they've rectified that now, so should be safe to order one. There's the last fit lights again. This is a new addition here, JCR spare tire basket. I'll do a quick video on it, it'll be releasing here soon as well. Max nice Tracksmith running on it. Yeah. Like I said, getting rid of the soft top, we're going to go with Anderson Composites. Ordered it through our friends over at Middleton Motorsports up in Wisconsin. So. Of course, we can't go without mentioning the K&N air filter, the JCR engine cover, and the Raptor grill. Three must-haves, in my opinion. All right, for the rear end, we here we got the JCR table. Most of y'all have already seen. Got the fire extinguisher really coated here. Couldn't locate it up here anymore because of the speakers. Y'all know the speakers? Uh, seen the speakers before. First aid kit. Yeah, Got the other things here, some tires, white, tight, white wires for the dogs. And also got the drawer here for all my tools and recovery gear. As well as I got a Sportsman Plano box. Got my more play stuff in it. So, all ready to go. Waiting on the car wash. We're going to show you guys the sticker fab stuff again. So that's the Badlands piece, the ignition piece. Goat mode dial, and of course, Bronco lettering, as well as the blackouts for the warning labels. Have the lifestyle off road BYOD bar. Do not regret this at all. Uh, it's not overly fancy, but it fits the needs and it's not over expensive. So, some quick honorable mentions here got canvas back cargo liners, Wrangler Nets pet barrier. We also use the IAG uh, hood struts for both the or the struts for both the hood and the rear of the soft top. We also had a gear shave mini custom mini shade that we had made with our logo. It's pretty cool. Of course, there's the half inch body lift, and of course, here most recently we did full RCI uh, aluminum skid plates and aluminum fuel tank skid plate, as well as the wild horses rear shock skids, and as far as the RCI A arm skids. I also did a Flowmaster American Thunder exhaust, as well as the Lex Lighting Systems uh, Rock Lights. Ultimately, I want to go over the lows and the hates. Power, love the power. Uh, this thing, Twin Turbo V6, even with the 37s, this thing really goes. And the 471 gear will be very uh, appreciated when I go back to Colorado and Moab. Tire size flexibility. I mean, yes, I did put the... Uh, have to use the max tire clearances to prevent any rubbing whatsoever. But that's kind of my own fault because I went with too negative an offset. So uh, you can fit 37s on this with just a mild lift, sometimes even a leveling kit. Depends on how hard you're going off-road, you may have to do that. So fuel mileage, compar well, compared to the 4Runner, yes. I'll be honest with you, uh, this thing and the 4Runner for that matter, Jeep already has the 4XE, but we definitely need PHEVs and the Bronco and the 4Runner, at least as options, maybe not the primary engine. So those people who want to have to drive daily don't have to, you know, bite the bullet at the pump, still have their uh, off-road friendly vehicle. Uh, the approach and departure angles, these things are just maddening stuff you can get by with, especially when you're lifting on 37s. makes it even more so. Uh, 4Runner has was nothing compared to this as far as approach and departure angles. Uh, accessory friendly, very modular, everything's bumpers, mods, pretty much unbolt, bolt. I like the 4Runner, there's not really a whole lot of cutting you have to do, so the Ford engineers definitely made this thing just for that purpose. Uh, versatility, I mean it's a great daily driver, the IFS, it rides great on the roads, at highway speeds, even with these 37 inch bunch of rings, I can do 80 miles an hour, 85 miles an hour comfortably and not miss a beat, so definitely props on that. Well, let's get to the things I hate. Soft top, this factory soft top. Uh, it's, it was fine until I got the light bar, but once I got the light bar, it's just really not that great. Uh, it flaps a lot with the light bar. Now, granted, if you lift the light bar off, it would be okay. But I already noticed that mine's starting to separate up here. Now, they do have a, a technical service bulletin for that, so I'll have to take it and get that done. Uh, and also, you know, a little wear on it. It wears pretty quickly. It's just not a very good product. Uh, now, I have ordered a hard top, so that will hopefully resolve that. Rear locker. Ford, if you're listening, the thing ain't worked and I've had almost a year, still ain't working. Get the shit fixed. You know, uh, sorry, there's no excuse for that. Interior panels, most people talk about how it looks kind of cheap and plasticky. The only complaint I have is that 
especially in the back, when you're putting stuff in and out, it's easy to mar. Uh, you know, carpet and the rear seat backs should have been water resistant. You know, sorry about that, but it should have. Also, the you know sound system. Be honest with you, it's not that great. Uh, I did put these speakers back here in the back, as you can see, made a lot better. So I'm just going to be honest with you, for the price you pay for these, it's just not that good. Uh, alternator placement. I think that's a common one. Most people are going to tell you that. They definitely should have, uh, you know, put that in a better spot. But it is what it is. Hopefully they'll fix that in the future generation. Maybe the aftermarket will come up with a solution on that. Tie rod durability, another common issue. You know, I put the Brock Buster braces, so luckily I haven't had any issues. I do have a spare tie rod in the back, just in case. Break over angle. Of course, the good thing about departure and approach angles is the contrary is the break over angle is not that great. If you bought a two door, it'd be a lot better, obviously. But the break over angle on the four door is probably not even better than the four runner is. So, so a couple other things we got coming up. Of course, if y'all follow me on Instagram, you know that I got a RCI rear skid, rear differential skid. So that's the remaining skid. I think we're all skidded out after that. Uh, I'm sure the aftermarket may come up with something else to get my money, but you know, uh, so the RCI diff skid is still got it sitting here, waiting for the diff, uh, the rear locker to get fixed before I put that on. Uh, we also have ordered Morimoto headlights. I'm sure some of y'all are familiar with those. Uh, our friends at Freedom Retro Fritz uh, sell those, and I'd highly encourage you guys to uh, use them. Very uh, reputable company. They're based here out of. Uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin, here in the Midwest, not far from Chicago. A good friend of mine runs it. He's also heavily involved. Austin is heavily involved in the core and other overland events in the area. Uh, something else is that we did order a hard top. I think I may have referenced this before, but uh, Anderson Composites hard top. We've ordered it from our friends up at Midwest, uh, I'm sorry, Middleton Motorsports, which is up in Wisconsin, southern Wisconsin. They have a great web uh, YouTube channel, and I highly suggest you guys check them out and subscribe. They have all kinds of Broncos content. Uh, you know, they have a Raptor and they have several Broncos and they do installs and product reviews and stuff like that, kind of like we do, uh, except probably a lot better. Uh, also, uh, we have a set of Fox coilovers on order from our friends over here at Attitude Performance. Uh, some of y'all may remember them. They're the ones that have done the max tire clearance for me. They've also done the, uh, the rock slide rails for me and they put the zone off-road lift, the current lift on, you know, uh, which... That lift kit is a great lift kit uh, for its purpose to get me, you know, uh, to get me by until the Foxes became available. Uh, they also sell Kings as well there, so you could get those if you'd rather have those. Uh, and, you know, trips, we're definitely going to go to Supercell East. My family still lives in East Tennessee. I got a cabin booked and just waiting on the tickets to go on sale for the actual event. Uh, I'll be hanging out down there with my friends, uh, All Terrain Nation and uh, Driven Wild. Uh, and also Johnny's Car Care, as well as uh, Overland for Fun, and several others. Hope to meet a bunch of you guys down there. You know, hope to hope to get a chance to run into Wild Horses. Uh, you know, Mitchell Watts and his uh, crew, maybe some of those people. Also, I have a trip tentatively planned for Ure, as you all may have noticed earlier in one of my other videos. That the trip I had this past summer got canceled because of my dad's passing. So uh, KOA was nice enough to rebook me for next summer in a cabin. So we'll go there and maybe have some of the Chicagoland Broncos people come with me. Some other people come with me, you know, hit the URA trails and the Broncos. That'll be fun. Hopefully I'll get the uh, rear locker fixed by the end, but I don't think I'll need it necessarily unless I want to do the wall. Anyway. All right. For the purposes of this video, we just did a really broad overview. There's several things that we did to the Bronco that I did not cover or mention here, but you can check out the other videos on my channel check out my Instagram page, get caught up on everything that's been done. And we'll put a link to our, uh, to all of our mods as well list of all of our mods so overall would i do it again absolutely i love this vehicle even though the rear locker situation and the soft top situation are less than ideal uh, i can say that this thing has more than uh exceeded my expectations i don't have any regrets the foreigner was a great vehicle and it definitely still has its purpose and its place in the automotive aftermarket uh you know an overlanding genre but I think the Bronco is a better fit for me. You know, may not be the better fit for some other people, but, you know, teach their own, I guess. Anyway, hope you guys like this video. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, hit that alert button for more content alerts. And we'll see you in the near future. Thank you so much.